Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to reorganize this bookshelf. So, grab yourself your beverage of choice and let's get this started. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, a little geek, a little chic. My name is Diamond and if you're new here, I post vlog, lifestyle, bookish videos as much as I can. <laughs> so I try to be more consistent. Um, in December, I'm posting a whole lot of videos because, you know, vlogmas. So I'm not necessarily focusing on strictly vlogs for you guys. I'm also throwing in bookish content um, on days when I don't have vlogs. So things like my December TBR. Um, this video, which for you guys is my reorganizing my bookshelf video. So I intend to, uh, take all these off, mind my coffee cup over there, and reorganize this bookshelf in a whole different way. It's not working for me right now. I have too many of one genre, not enough of another. Giant full shelves of one genre, empty shelves of another, or overflowing into shelves where they shouldn't be. I don't want to organize by author. So I think I'm going to do it by color. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> my cat just jumped up and knocked my camera. She likes to be the center of attention. So <laughs> if you see her in this video or hear her, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Other than that, it will be just by color. Um, <laughs> like I said earlier, center of attention. Are we good now, Milo? Okay, let's get you out of here. Hang on, please. Technical difficulties. So after that little interruption, as I was saying, I'm intending to organize this by color. So I'm going to do sort of a rainbow uh, style bookshelf. I'm not going to do it red all the way down, then yellow, then, you know, I'm going to do it shelf by shelf. So we're going to start with white and move on from there. So step one is going to be taking all of these books off the shelf and putting them in color chunks. So here goes nothing.
up <laughs> is we sort those piles of books by color. So I'm going to do that and then I will insert a clip when I finish them sitting on the floor. Um, and I don't think you guys want to sit on the floor with me. You might. I'll insert a clip when I'm done of all the sorted colors and then we'll reassemble. Okay. Minu? How's it going over there? <laughs> She's just got to be in the action. Okay, so kind of separated them into stacks by color. Now I need to go through those colors and um, separate them by gradient. So um, ombre style, you know, darkest to lightest. So yeah, I'm going to start with the white books and uh, work my way on from there. all situated um I have soda down there <laughs> on the bottom shelf um yeah so the white books are ready and put up I did scan them all into the app that I'm using to organize my books and my library um and categorize them all before I uh put them up and I went from the whitest white on one side to the lightest white on the, the yellowest white on the other side and there's one that I can see now with the light on that I don't want to like worry about. Okay, that's better. <laughs> when I see it in the camera, it looks better this way. Um, yeah, so started with that. Now I'm going to move on and I've decided the colors scheme that I'm going to take is white and then on to yellow, starting with the pale yellow, moving to the brighter yellow, and then those can transition into the oranges and then the reds, and then the reds can go from the deep reds into the pinks and so, and then the pinks will go into the purples and the purples will go into the blues and then the blues will be going into the greens and that's how that's going to go. <laughs> if that makes sense, perfect. <laughs> if not, it'll look good. <laughs> Future Diamond coming at you here with an important breaking news story. Dash Gearbuck here with 19 days to go and your North Pole weather update. Today's forecast is snow and more snow. In fact, it's snowing snowballs and snow bricks out there, folks, with a 70% chance of snow forts being built. A sledding advisory is in effect through New Year's, so everyone look alert and look out for each other out there. That was our breaking news for today from the North Pole countdown calendar. Now, back to the bookshelf organizing. Okay, so day two. Um, day one, I made some good progress, got everything down, organized it up, put some colors up, and now I have my coffee. I just got my nails done, feeling fab. <laughs> uh, my hair's in pigtails today because 
Who can be bothered on the weekend? Am I right? I did put a little bit of makeup on today because I was going out in public to run a couple Christmassy errands and go to the salon. So didn't want to look completely like I just rolled out of bed. But I have on my comfy sweater and my leggings so that I'm ready to do all the up and down and putting away the books. So here it goes. I'm going to continue on to this and then a little bit later this evening my husband gets home. We're decorating our tree and stuff. So I'm hoping to finish it today. But if not... It will be done tomorrow. So you'll see another outfit change. <laughs> All right. There's no time like the present. where you start pondering if you made the right color choices <laughs> and what to go next blue or green okay so I think the decision is to go with greens 
and then into the blues since it's going to go from darker green to lighter green and then lighter blue to uh, dark blue which in my mind transitions nicely into all the blacks that you have there's a lot of black covers but yeah uh let's get this continue this organization <laughs> We are going to take a brief pause from the bookshelf organizing to show you what the tea is for today. Okay, day six. Hope it's a good one. Oh, oh, that looks interesting. It's got little, uh, little golden, golden gingerbread men in there. And some little star looking things. And it is. Ooh. Gingerbread Blondie. That sounds. Sorry about that. Get that in focus for you. That sounds delicious. Okay, so I had an apple and I came back. And now I'm going to start on the blue. I'm going to scan them all into the library app. And then sort by color and put them on the shelf. I am getting tired, so I grabbed one of these. Not sponsored. I'm just tired and I'm gonna drink this and we're gonna see if it maybe helps my situation. <laughs> If you guys ever been sorting your books and then found a gem? I got this at a used book sale for $2. <laughs> and since I like Simon uh, and the Homo Sapiens Agenda, I thought, hmm, Becky Arbertalli, I'll try this one out. Oh, look at that. Signed book plate. That's pretty cool. Not sure I'm 100% happy with the blue but I'm gonna go into the black and then gray and then I might just dabble with the blue more in the future as I see fit. <laughs>
good one. Okay, now what do you think? When I say, okay, good. I'm going to start with white up top, moved into the yellows, and then into the oranges, the reds, my favorite color down here, the purples. So pinks into the purples, uh, then into the greens because I felt it was a nice transition and there weren't very many greens. I didn't want them to get pushed away from the mass of uh, blue books that will be coming because there's a lot of blue books, you guys. <laughs> so I went from dark green to lighter green and then into the blues. And then the blues kind of turn into darker blues and into the blacks. We go into the blacks, into the blacks, into the blacks. A lot of black covers, guys. Uh, down here we go into the grays and then into the uh, grays to the browns and the greenish army green browns um down here's my stack of um classics i will probably end up moving them at some point uh wa long walk to freedom very inspiring very great book i need to finish i'm enjoying it but it's kind of at the dry part right now um but it doesn't really fit any of the color schemes because it's kind of yellow green and red and i tried to put it in the yellow and it didn't really fit and i tried to put it in the green no and in the red and nope so we'll just have to leave that at that and then over here is my comics and my mangas um, and some just some middle grades that I have that I love like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and that. But I'll give you guys a more of a bookshelf tour later. Those might move at some point to make room for more of the um, ambient uh, colors. But for right now they have a home uh, down there. That's just a stack of mass market paperbacks I have. Uh, I'm looking to rehome to a different shelf in my house because Unfortunately, the mass market paperbacks don't really fit the motif. They're kind of a little shorter than everything else, and they don't really they don't really work. So, yeah, that's it. I have accomplished my goal. Um, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It's not perfect just yet, but I'll do some rearranging here and there to make it a little bit more. When I notice something that sticks out that I think should be moved, but for the most part. It is very aesthetically pleasing and makes my soul happy when I'm sitting here and looking at that. It just is a nice change. So, yeah, thanks for watching me uh, do this bookshelf reorganization and to go with like an ambient sort of color rainbow. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like down below. Hit subscribe to see more videos from me. And I will be back with another one for you soon in this uh, Vlogmas video reel. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.